Hi guys, this is Srikanth Dasari. In this video, uh, we are going to learn uh, about the basic data type uh, integer. Okay, so let me launch the IDE. Create a new project here. Let's name our project as uh, Digits. Okay, let me create a C file. Just let's see. Okay. So let us uh, write some couple of include statements here. So as we all know that integer is a data type, a basic data type in C, which is uh, system defined, uh, which, which has the capability of uh, holding uh, decimal integer values, uh, not only decimal integer values, the integer uh, in C is capable of holding uh, octal integer values and also hexadecimal integer values. So let us create a, a variable for integer here, which is going to be iware. So if you want to initialize an integer variable, you need, as you all know that uh, we use the assignment operator equal to and uh, initialize some uh, value to the integer here, which is uh, 10. A decimal uh, value can be a combination of uh, 0 and 9. Decimal integer is a combination of 0 to 9. Okay. So if you want to print an integer uh, value, you need to use a, a printf statement. As we all, uh, as we all see in the last uh, video, printf the value of integer i where. So for the understanding purpose, I am writing the whole printf statement, which is all uh, not that necessary. Percentage d. So as we have learned in the last video that uh, percentage d is a format specifier for integer and you have to mention the variable name here after that. Now if you run the program, let me add the get seeds to make the output constant. Now if you run the program, it should display exactly the uh, variable which holds the integer value. Okay. So, now you might get a doubt uh, that what is the size of an integer in C? I mean, uh, how many bytes uh, it would occupy in the memory? So, there is a special operator called uh, size of, okay, uh, which is called, uh, which is defined in uh, studio.h. So, by using the size of uh, operator, we can uh, know the size of an integer we are using. size of an integer i where percentage d comma size of i where so, okay the size of operator gives the size of uh, size of an integer in bytes Okay, so let me run the program. As you all know that uh, the size of an integer depends upon the the, uh, the operating system you are using and the compiler uh, you are using. So if you are running uh, uh, XP, Windows XP and if you are using Turbo C as a compiler, you might get uh, the size of an integer as 2 bytes here. Okay, it depends upon uh, a lot of factors. Okay, so another thing uh, you have to learn about the basic integer data type is the range of an integer, range of an uh, integer, which were given by two uh, variables, uh, two macros to spell it correctly, int min and uh, int uh, max. So 
both of these uh, macros contains uh, the minimum value and the maximum value that can be stored in an uh, integer so let us uh, print uh, both of them the range of an integer i where is percentage d hyphen to percentage d comma in min comma in max okay so okay uh, this int min and int max uh, are stored uh, under the library header file hash include uh, limit storage so we need to include that one in order to use these uh, macros so if you run the program you get the range of an 4 byte integer which is uh, roughly 2 minus 2 billion to positive 2 billion okay so this is the range that, which means that you can store uh, any sort of values bit, uh, which falls in between the range of these values okay so these are uh, as we said in the beginning that integer is also capable of holding uh, octal values and uh, hexadecimal values so let us uh, create a variable for uh, octal integer which we can name it as octal where okay and also in the same way for hexadecimal hex where so let us assign uh, uh, two different values uh, so one thing we have to remember that uh, the octal octal integer uh, is the one octal integer is the one which starts with uh, a leading uh, zero leading zero and uh, starts with leading zero octal integer starts with uh, leading zero leading zero and uh, is the combination of combination of uh, numbers between 0 to 7 so this is the condition which we can uh, say that the integer is an octal integer so if you want to assign uh, some uh, octal integer value to the variable here your integer you can say something like this OCT var and uh, you can say 0 3 7 okay in the same way if you want to print the octal uh, integer value you can uh, use the same printf statement uh, but you have to use the uh, specifier as o percent o here the percent o is used in order to print the octal integer value percentage u o followed by the, the variable name octal where okay so let me run the program here so 37 is the is the value which we expect uh, to be printed when you are printing the octal uh, integer in the same way in the same way we have uh, the hexadecimal uh, integer so if you want to assign uh, hexadecimal integer so let us assign some value to the hex where the hexadecimal uh, is the one which is followed by 0 and x and the combination of uh, certain uh, letters alphabets which are going to be uh, like a hexadecimal integer is followed by a leading starts with leading 0 leading 0 and x and is the combination of 0 to 9 and uh, a to f okay so if you want to print an hexadecimal integer you need to use the format specifier as percent x so let us print the hexadecimal integer value here percent x 
and uh, the variable name of the variable is square okay so let us uh, run the program ff is the value of hexadecimal here okay which you have stored in the x square variable so these are the very this is the basic information about the type uh, int basic integer type in the next lesson we we are going to discuss about uh, the various uh, types of variants which fall under the integer type okay see you in the next lesson bye bye